Hey YouTube, welcome back. Oh god, I haven't done a video in so long. Um, I apologize for taking such a long break from YouTube. I did not intend to not post for this long. Been really busy the last few months. I produced and starred in an indie feature film. It's my first time ever producing. I'm really proud of it and I'm excited to uh, share it with you all eventually. We're just starting the post-production phase now, so it's a ways away still before we'll have anything for anyone to see, but uh, that's where I've been. And actually tomorrow I am on set for another movie, a uh, thriller. It's gonna be my first time dying on camera. So that'll be fun. However, if I look tired and sad, it's because I am. We had to say goodbye to one of the barn cats this weekend. <sighs> Sorry, I don't wanna cry. I'm filming this video for a fun distraction, um, lighten the mood a little, give myself something to look forward to, Christmas. So fun. So let's react to the Next Step Christmas special. Never watched it, I'm not in it. I was asked to be in it, but there's there's a little story as to why I'm not. So I'll fill, I'll fill you guys in on the tea. I'm feeling sad and a little messy, guys. I'm gonna get into it today, <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. Um, there's really not that much tea. But before we get into the reaction, I have a quick commercial break. For you all. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Dossier is a really cool perfume and fragrance company that does inspired by scents of your favorite designer brands at a way more affordable price. I just got these two amazing scents, Citrus Ginger inspired by Chanel Bleu and Woody Sandalwood inspired by Lalabo Centol 33. I can't believe how much this smells like Chanel Blue. It's crazy. This is my scent, or Chanel Blue was my scent during university. I was gifted it, and I've never bought it since because it's a little too expensive. It's out of my budget for what I want to spend on a fragrance. I feel like Woody Sandalwood or like Centol 33 is such an iconic and recognizable smell. I've wanted to try it forever, but again, Lolabo is so expensive. I'm pretty sure theirs is almost $300. Dossier's is $69, which is insane. And Dossier has their most anticipated sale of the year on right now for Black Friday with up to 55% off. It's a great time to try out a fragrance that you've always been wanting to try. I'm really excited to keep wearing these fragrances and trying out a few others as well. They have so many scents to offer and they don't just offer fragrances, they also have candles and diffusers. So if you have any scent or fragrance that you're looking to try, Check in the description box. I have a link to Dossier below. Thanks again, Dossier. Let's get in the Christmas spirit, shall we? This isn't just any holiday party. This is the Next Step's 30th anniversary of opening their doors. 30th anniversary? And what year was this? This was 2019 that they filmed this. So that would mean the Next Step had been open since 1989? There's one thing you should know about me before we begin. I was born in 1989. Everyone's coming back to celebrate. We even hired Eldon to choreograph a performance of the Nutcracker. Everyone? Not quite everyone, Michelle. Danny Boy wasn't there. <laughs> or isn't gonna be there. Danny Boy's not gonna show. I wonder if they address it. Probably not. Okay, maybe let's try ending on Releve this time. But why is he so like manic? I don't think I've ever seen Eldon so like snappy and snarky. He's taking a little page out of Daniel's book in this. Mm, maybe let's try ending on Releve this time. Okay, Sass Annual. Come here. Oh, I'm a snow fairy, actually. Yeah, 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 whatever. Me? A solo? This is going to be my first featured solo, and it's going to be in front of all A Troop alumni. So cute. I love ya. Not all the alumni, Piper. A little advice from me to you. Don't get too hell-bent on that solo. It could lead to your downfall. I wonder if everyone else is in this. Is everyone there except for me? I can't believe Ozzy got the most King part. King is literally in my name. It's okay, bro, chill. Kingston. <laughs> Always the little, like, title cards underneath. Kingston. Not the Rat King. I love it. They're always, like... I feel like the editors must have a lot of fun coming up with those little name cards. Oh, then? Hi, are you sure this is, like, the best place for my solo? Another one taken by the lure of a solo. Should I predict what I think is gonna happen? I feel like Piper is not gonna get the solo. She's gonna break her ankle. She's not gonna go to regionals. She's gonna come back the next year. No one's gonna believe that she's healed and she's actually gonna turn into the villain of the show. Um, just a, just a wild prediction. I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. What? Oh, you came a little full. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
gonna say, not the bad back. How old are we supposed to be? You're what? James was what? 17 when he graduated from the studio and it's been like two seasons since then. He's like 19 here. Wait, so was Riley? And Riley was supposed to be younger than James. So was Riley like 17, 18 running the studio? Kate just was like, you got it, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna just... Or was there like a time jump? Was it like a Riverdale situation? Is there like a five year time jump? Oh, this just went off the rails. The boys are back! That's such a younger sister thing to say. Just like, older brother shows up, she's like, well, this went off the rails. <laughs> I love my brother, but it seems like whenever he's around, it's like I don't even matter. Mm, that's sad. Wait, I'm kind of here for this like brother-sister drama. I feel like this is a very real like younger sibling thing. I wouldn't know I'm the older sibling. Um, <laughs> no, I feel like my brother is the exception because I'm very thoughtful. I'm a very good older brother and my parents are very good parents and they always made sure to celebrate both of us for our like different wins. But I have a lot of friends who are the younger sibling. Good job, next step writers. This is very like, ah, oh, yes, we understand, we relate. Piper, we love Piper. I do love Piper. Oh. Oh. It's beyond inspiring to see all the former H Troop members in the studio way. Oh my God, say all the H Troop members one more time. Say it one more time. Say it one more fucking time, I dare you. I dare you. Look around the room. Are we all there? No, they're like, oh, all the boys, all the boys. One of the boys is not there. Though I was never considered like one of the boys. You know what I mean? Oh, <sighs> what was me? <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, Jenny, I love Jenny. If you haven't watched my, actually the last video I posted on YouTube was with Jenny. Uh, dance dates where her and I and Brit actually too Riley uh, recreated addicted to you addicted to you Chloe's version is what we called it so check that out I'll link it below I'm really proud of that video it was really fun to make and I just love Jenny I just love her it's amazing to have Chloe and Amanda back at the next step I mean it's been a long time since we've all been together so I'm just so happy <clears throat> someone's missing <clears throat> not all together <clears throat> also Victoria and I also filmed an episode of my show dance dates earlier in the summer I'll link that below too you know what? I'll just link the whole playlist to dance dates down below okay check it out check it out let me know what you think let me know who else you want me to have as a guest also not even like next step people, just like other people in general. I'm so glad that everyone could be here for this important anniversary. It makes the holidays even more of an occasion. Okay guys, this joke's getting a little old. It's getting a little tired. It's getting a little <gasps> tired. Everyone? Everyone is here. Is everyone here in the in the in the studio? Is everyone here right now? Is everyone in the studio? Hey? Roll call. Roll call. Daniel absent hmm interesting hello <laughs> oh help, please. this is such a good entrance brett 10 out of 10 also she looks so different with her long hair she just got a really cool haircut have you seen it check out her new vlogs she just made a second channel a whole vlog channel um she got this like wolf cut love it she looks good here and that entrance was hilarious I'm a fan. Ah, oh, Jiley. We love Jiley. I also filmed an episode of Dance Dates with Britt, and Britt's in all of them. She's my like videographer slash sidekick, <laughs> is what I like to call her in those. And her and I recreated the Jiley Nationals duet. Linked below. Plug, 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 Dance Dates. This is not, I did not intend for this to be so. <laughs> watch my show. But also watch my show. One, two, three. Three. Oh, three. <laughs> okay. It's like 20 yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. 20 less than what hey, I used to do. I am in sneakers, okay? Relax. <laughs> Not them playing up this like, oh, aren't we old? Aren't we just all dancers now? I, oh, three. I squeaked in three. <laughs> the like bad back joke. Like, guys, come on. Dancers can dance forever. I had a professor at Juilliard who was like in her 70s. Full out. She was full the f out. Every class, teaching class, giving full jumps, floor work, everything. That is such a, it's gonna piss me off. If they keep making that like, oh, we're so old. <laughs> a triple. You, you, that's 20 less than you used to do. Come on. Hey, Happy birthday, guys. TNS. Oh. You don't look a day over 29. Okay, so let me explain where I was when they were filming this Christmas special. I was asked to be in it. The idea was that all of us, <laughs> like they're all saying, all of the OG A Troop would be there. It was supposed to be this like big reunion, two-part episode. Unfortunately, it was filming 
the same time that I had just booked and started filming Tiny Pretty Things. The minute that they asked me, I told my agents, yes, I would love to be in the Next Step reunion. Of course I would love to do it. Can they work around Tiny Pretty Things? Britt, who was filming Dare Me, Amy, the choreographer on the Next Step, was also the choreographer on Dare Me. And so she also was like juggling. I'm pretty sure the day that Britt came to do all of her stuff, they, they filmed a lot of the Christmas special without Britt there, and then Britt came and just filmed her stuff, and she did it like in the morning, and then she went to Dare Me that evening and did like a night shoot for Dare Me. So like they were really, you know, working around everybody's schedules. Tiny Pretty Things also had me under option agreement, meaning they got first dibs on me, basically. Just like the timing didn't work, the scheduling didn't work out, I couldn't get a day off from Tiny Pretty Things, so that's where I was. I was filming Tiny Pretty Things, I couldn't make it work, to be there for the reunion Christmas special of The Next Step. And now watching it, I'm like feeling really left out and really bummed. I wish I could have been there. It, you know, clearly is like iconic. Pretty much all of the original A Troopers are there with the present day A Troopers. And uh, it's the only holiday Christmas special we ever did. The only other holiday special I think was the Halloween special, which I was there for that. And that was wild. Maybe I'll make a video all about that filming experience. It was like crazy. So yes, that's where I was. Let's keep watching. I'd love to treat you guys to some hot drinks over at the cafe. Nice. Do it. Cool. Okay. OG steppers, cool. follow me. They're gonna go get turnt with Miss Kate. Kate's like, I would love to treat you all to some shots over at the bar for my graduates. Let's go alumni. Let's go. Let's get lit. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. The next step after hours. Wasn't that a show? Didn't they have like a... Like the after show, or was it called the next step after show? But the next step after hours, the next step college edition, where we're all just like at, having keggers. <laughs> the girls are just like dancing at a bar. That'd be cute. Every year, A Troop does a gift exchange. It's TNS tradition. And this year is extra special. Oh, wait, then who got Piper? I, I don't. I don't have, did, I don't I have, have Piper. Piper. I was, I'm Santos. Wait, that's so sad. I don't like that. This gives me flashbacks to when I was like, in elementary school and we did Secret Santa in grade six and the person who got me for Secret Santa was friends with the kids that bullied me and so they purposefully didn't get me a gift and I was the only kid in my grade six class that didn't get a gift for Secret Santa in our portable. Yeah, it really sucks getting bullied and being left out. I wish I never came to the studio in the first place. Hello? Where is everybody? Where are the decorations and, and the gifts? Hello? Why is Piper so scared? She literally just had a little nap. Is she scared because someone changed her in her sleep? Because that would be freaky. If you like went to bed in your dance clothes and you woke up and were in a different dress, it'd be like, eee, who changed me? Who saw my titter tots? <laughs> who saw my bedoozle? <laughs> what life would be like if you never came to the next step? We got a little CGI budget on this episode. You have no idea how many lives you've impacted. Emily, don't turn your back to me. I'm working Michelle. Well, it's your turn to clean the espresso machine. Wait, I'm obsessed. Emily and Michelle work at the juice bar, whatever it's called in this version. Every season it changes, right? So the girls got a part-time job. Girls got to eat. The girls got to eat. The girls got to shop. The girls need a budget to shop. The girls need some spending cash. Nobody stood up to Miss Angela. So, Emily and Michelle never became heads of the studio. Okay, 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 I cannot watch any more subpar dancing. You're gonna have to work through the night to get this right. Miss Angela's kind of giving me like an Abby Lee Miller vibe. They got that like raspy, like smoked a pack of cigs kind of a voice. Whether it takes two hours or four hours, I don't care. If you're part of this team, you're staying until the routine is clean. Where's the rest of A Troop? Where's Amy and Ozzy, Rochelle? She never misses A Troop rehearsal. No, this isn't A Troop. This is B Troop. Rochelle's on B Troop? What? That's almost as insane as in season one when Giselle doesn't make A Troop. And it's like, okay, everybody knows that she just won So You Think You Can Dance Canada and is one of the best dancers in the room. She's not gonna make A Troop? This is giving the writers took creative liberties. This is giving the writers were like, oh, yeah, no, Briar, yeah, she did tour with J-Lo and she was on World of Dance, but on our show, be true. <laughs> it is a fiction, after all. There's so many people, I get so many comments, people being like, oh my God, I thought until I was like 15 that the next step was reality and I didn't realize. And it's like, yeah guys, yeah, scripted. 
He'll always be the lead soloist in my heart. Are they about to kiss right now? Are they a couple on the show? Someone catch me up. Let's see. Are they gonna smooch? I want. I wanna. Uh, I want. Mm, you know? I wanna want. Whoa, 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 whoa. Michelle and Ozzy, you're together? Let's go. Get yes! <sighs> I knew it. I knew they were gonna kiss. I knew it. Um, so by Piper's reaction, I'm gonna assume they're not normally a couple. I don't think. Your best friend, Amy, of course. No, 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 Amy hates Gemini. You weren't here to help her fix things with her mom. Wait, I just, is Giselle's dress, is her dress glowing? Does she have like little glowy stars? Go off costumes. <laughs> Let's go wardrobe department. Pulling out all the stops for this Christmas special. They got CGI, they got sick wardrobe. They don't have Daniel. <laughs> He's the janitor, I'm dead. That's so funny. Even Alfie's in this Christmas special? What the heck? Is everybody except me in this? Man. Now I do feel really left out. It's like Piper with her presents. Or me in grade six. Is this just my pattern? Like all through life, I'm just like always left out. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna spiral. I can't go there. I can't think about that. And there's Alvin. He quit dancing and is not a choreographer, but he became- And he became Weird Al Yankovic? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on? Also, Brit looks phenomenal. Giving queen, giving princess, giving principessa. They all look good. Everyone's giving looks in this. Everyone's giving outfit. Everyone's giving hair makeup. Damn, Riley's really giving full beat. Those eyebrows, that lip. Just because I didn't come to the studio, all of this happened? <laughs> Because you never came to the next step, you weren't here to tell James to come home from London to win Riley back from Elfie. Not the horror movie music. Sheesh. That got a little spooky-ooky. You. You have to reignite their love for dance. How, how am I going to do that? How will you do what? <gasps> James, you can see me? To be continued? I was like, just getting... I'm hooked. Okay, I'm gonna have to react to the next part, obviously. Please subscribe. I have a lot of really exciting content coming up that I can't wait to share with you, and I will see you all soon. Bye.